the 239th program of This Is Your World, takes you to the Padak Lao district in northern Laos, which has a deep connection with the war in Vietnam. The 1962 Geneva Agreement set up terms under which a coalition government would rule Laos with the extreme right headed by Prince Suvanapuma and the left the Padak Lao led by Prince Supanuvong. The United States began bombing areas in northern Laos about a year and a half ago on the ground that the North Vietnamese were bringing supplies over the so-called Ho Chi Minh Trail through Laos and into South Vietnam. Strategic bombings by B-52s since last no December raises the question of whether the war in Vietnam will spread to Laos. A Japanese news gathering team visits Sam Nua near the North Vietnamese border. A village of 3,000, Sam Nua is in the center of the Padat Lao controlled areas. The village was abandoned when the bombing began. Now, from time to time, some of the people return. Doors open only from 4 to 7 in the morning to avoid air attack. People appear to be calm, but the soldiers carrying guns symbolize the agony of war in this area. About the size of Han Shu, Laos has a population of only two and a half million quiet, unwarlike people. They are Buddhists and many temples are scattered throughout the area. Older priests have left the region under bombing and only the young monks remain. The local people say that all of the Paraglau districts have been bombed. United States bombing concentrates on the roads, villages, factories. A Paraglau consulate general was established in Pong Sali, 250 kilometers northwest of Sam Nua. People left the towns and villages when the bombing began about a year and a half ago. They went into the mountains and jungles to begin a new life. They say they can easily avoid the attacks by living in the mountains. They have started whole new villages like this one near Sam Nua. Since the men have volunteered for either army service or work in the factories, only women, children, and the older people are left behind in the villages. The women are pounding rice and weaving. They have a fairly comfortable life, better than during the French colonial period. There is sufficient food in the Padat Lao districts and the people 
provide for most of their own daily needs. Military training is a recognized part of their daily lives. The Laotian militia, like the Vietnamese, is a part of the People's Liberation Army. It is established in various districts. The people make spears before leaving for training. They listen intently to the group leader who explains that rightist influence is gathering in the government in Vientiane. Neutralists, like Suvana Puma, forbid foreign intervention. In trying to follow the 1962 Geneva Agreement, they have refused United States intervention in order to avoid being drawn into the Vietnamese War. But the rightists welcome intervention by the United States. In view of this conflict, the Padat Lao could bring about a change of power in Vientiane. Despite the tense political situation, life in the mountain villages continues peacefully. It is a wedding day for a couple in the village. Young girls are busy preparing for the feast. There is plenty of food. One man prepares a pig. The bride and groom walk toward their new home and the ceremony begins. Wedding guests leave money and gifts on the tables set up for the occasion. Laotians place food in the hands of the bride and groom. They have another interesting custom, tying their hands together with black cotton string. Laotians believe that the more strings they use, the greater will be the happiness of the newlyweds. Outside, they have been preparing a drink, and now everyone joins. Dancing follows the wedding ceremony. Everyone dances the Lam Van, which originated in Thailand, but has become popular in Laos.
The caves built into the limestone of the mountains near Samnua are the center of most village activities. Here, the people are safe from the bombing. Although the caves are cold and damp, the village people furnish them and make them as comfortable as they can. There are underground classrooms. During the period of the French colonialists, 98% of the people were illiterate. In all of Laos, there were only 300 teachers in 1945. Now, there are 400 teachers in the Patadlao district alone, and the number of children attending school has increased by threefold in the last 10 years. This is the auto repair shop in Sam Newell. Here, young mechanics learn how to make repairs. In the Potted Law District, they follow the Chinese slogan of working out through your own efforts. The idea is to develop self-reliance. People in the Potted Law districts also make their own textiles even their own medicines. About 50 men work at this shop. They repaired 113 cars from January through September last year. This is a rest period. The men are smoking pipes made of bamboo stems. There is also a blacksmith shop in this cave where 30 employees work six and a half hours a day. There are three furnaces in which the men melt down pieces of bombs dropped in nearby areas. They make tools, hatchets, knives, and agricultural implements. Last year, the Potted Lao built this weaving plant where girls 17 to 19 work in lamplight. Power is furnished by foot pedals. The girls make military uniforms, skirts, and scarves.
the girl employees say they are not afraid of the enemy. They will willingly endure any hardship no matter how long the fight goes on. There will be no happiness for anyone until the United States is defeated. There are also printing shops and a radio broadcasting station in these caves. This is the print shop where the Lao Hatzat, the central party organ of the Laos Patriotic Front, is published. About 50 people are employed in this shop, which spreads into many adjoining air caves, divided into mess hall, press room, conference room, and so forth. Also located in the cave, this is the only broadcasting station in the Parat Lao district. It broadcasts eight 30-minute programs a day, mostly news. One half-hour program consists of music. Most of the news programs are in Laotian, but the foreign broadcasts are made in French. Near Sam Nua, the Laotian People's Liberation Army has established a military school called the Kamadam Military School in honor of a hero of the war against the French. The school was founded 15 years ago during the resistance war when the People's Liberation Army fought against the Vientiane government in the Savanakhet and Kamuan provinces of southern Laos and had control of some areas. It was a day before graduation, and the students were in their final phases of training. They learned the duties of the soldiers of the Laotian People's Liberation Army to destroy the enemy, to mobilize the people, to participate in production. Graduation was held in one of the larger caves. Kam Te Sipan Don, the supreme commander of the Laotian People's Army, spoke to the graduates. The battle will be long and difficult, he said. All graduates must at all times show an heroic spirit of self-sacrifice to do everything they can to overcome the enemy and expand the liberated areas. The graduating class cheers their leader. Prince Supanuvong, the head of the Laotian Patriotic Front, or Parat Lao, is 57 years old. 
He is a half-brother of Prince Suvanapuma. When Supanuvong returned to Laos in 1941, after several years' education in France, he worked on a road construction project. During this period, he became aware of the poor living conditions of the people and decided in 1945 to work toward independence. When the Laotian Patriotic Front was formed in 1956, he was selected as chairman. Interviewed, he stated the tension and confusion in Laos are the outgrowth of a conspiracy by the United States and Suvana Puma and the rightist government in Vientiane to trample the Geneva Agreement of 1956. For a year and a half, United States bombers have been hitting Laos. Moreover, the United States uses Laotian and South Vietnamese agents to bring the southern and central parts of Laos under its control and to link South Vietnam with Thailand. He doesn't consider this a problem because the United States can be forced to pull out. He states that the present Laotian government has the mark of a people's coalition government, but is actually a puppet of the United States, which uses Suvanapuma to carry out aggressive plans. That is why the people are determined to resist such scheming and deception. Although a recognized leader of the Laotian Patriotic Front, Supernovang is a friendly man who even takes time out of his busy day to take physical training and keep in close touch with the younger people of the movement. This has been a translation of the Japanese commentary on a visit to the Padet Lao area.